review. WWR. WWR. Not to be confused with that W2 or WWW. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, it's our new recurring segment. Uh, we've been had it for a couple months now. Um, but this is for your trip to Yellowstone in the winter. First category in our WWR, the awe factor, one to five, five being just like <gasps> one being. Bleh. You know, Yellowstone to me will always be a five. For because, an off factor. Yeah, because, well, one, I, I've never done it in a winter. And the fox and coyote alone, that off factor for me, boom, through the roof. Just because it was like, I've never seen that before. This is what they actually cover in nature documentaries. <laughs> and it makes sense because you can go see it. Um, really cool. Uh, Jared is someone that is really hard to please. And to see him have a little bit of awe there too while we're looking and doing these things. Definitely a, um, for me, I like going to Yellowstone Gold with people that haven't been in a while or never been because you do get, you, you see their awe and, and that's part of it for me. So I honestly, I, I give it a five. Um, yeah, perfect day. Great day. We got the five and the awe factor. Crowds. Um, five being like no crowds, one being like you're uh, at Black Friday. Um, I'm going to give it a three here um, because that's the only road open in the park that time of year is the is the drive from gardner montana mammoth you know mammoth uh, all the way to cook city and that's also because that road is used for the cook city residents to leave cook city in the winter um you know they they can't take the bear tooth pass because that closed labor day um they, I think they can go into Cody, Wyoming through the Chief Joseph Highway. Another beautiful highway if you haven't done that. Um, it's, uh, uh, but they, they get to like Livingston and whatnot and all those people that go snowmobiling from Bozeman and um, Billings and stuff. They, they, ha they go through Livingston down to Gardner and through Mammoth over to Cook City. So you have a lot of snowmobile traffic in on this highway. And like they're... They, they're those kind of people. They're kind of assholes when they drive. <laughs> um, they got the jacked up trucks and I got my, cause it's the, it's that type of personality that, that goes snowmobiling Cook City because Cook City is one of those places where you have to have an avalanche pack to go snowmobiling there. Okay. Like not, an, not optional. It's have to, or we won't let you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, they're driving their jacked up trucks, just kind of racing through the park. Um, so I, I don't appreciate that. You're in a park, go the speed limit, be safe. There's wildlife. There's a reason we're keeping this space nice. Um, I get it. You want to go snowmobiling. Snowmobiling is fun. I love it too. Um, just uh, be a little more respectful. Um, and then there are, the, there are the tourists. And I think the two, there's two, the two different types of tourists that I saw in the winter is you have the, the like photographer type the wolfers, you know, the people that are there all year round. Yeah. Um, they're mixed in there. So they're going slow. They're taking their time. They're, they're posted up at like places uh, for long periods of time. Uh, and then you get like your, your normal tourist, you know, cause I saw some cars from Florida and Georgia and Mississippi and places like that. You know, you're like, wow, in December, this is really cool that you're up here, but kind of crazy too. And they don't really know what to do one on the snowy roads and they also i think you get that that tourist feel of there's no one here so i'm gonna park like this and then you realize you know 10 15 minutes later oh there are other people here and i'm blocking traffic i'm i'm being the dumb tourist that i'm asked not to be on all the papers that they hand you at the gate <laughs> yeah <laughs> no that's fair i think you know, I was honestly I was surprised when you said three, but after listening to you explain it, it make kind of makes sense. Yeah, I, I could imagine if the whole park 
like for example say they plowed all the roads in the park and you could get everywhere i mean that would be a bitch because they'd be doing it daily yeah <laughs> so, it would uh i think it would be a little less people um mm. but yeah it to me like yeah we still found moments where it was just us but you would be in that moment of just you and a car would pull up or a car would pass you so fair uh next one i mean you've kind of touched on it already uh, so I'm anticipating a high star rating here, but the chance of seeing wildlife, five um, being just crazy, one being there's, it's not really habitable. I mean, I'm going to say five because like Yellowstone was alive. Because <laughs> we saw more than just that fox and coyote. I mean, we saw elk, we saw antelope, tons of bison. Um more coyotes kind of running around doing their thing we saw the wolfers doing their thing you know and yeah I'm sure, sure as shit we get the spotting scope out we can spot some dots but um for me i uh yeah i i would say five because i mean we saw them everywhere and yellowstone i think for this this survey alone that we kind of do or our rating system uh our wandering ways review um we uh we really talk about, uh, I think, the wildlife factor in this category. Kind of Yellowstone for me is that five already. Like, yeah, um, I take that one and then I put like Indiana Sand Dunes National Park or National uh, Lake Shore. Like that one to me would be the one zero because it's like I didn't see shit. I saw sand and lake. Yeah, right. No, I I think we've talked about how like you know yellowstone is very wildlife oriented so i love about and nature and Ye yellowstone is the greatest place on the planet in my book uh <laughs> that's why i proposed to thea there that is why i go there two to five times a year <laughs> so so why he put his number one in his top five parks which you can check out that episode of the wandering ways uh, podcast uh, just go to the link below yeah no i like that no that's awesome um but yeah yellowstone's cool um i mean you got to experience wild I, i'm curious uh when you were in west yellowstone did you get any wildlife oh yeah we i mean you get the we saw the buffalo um you know we saw a ton of coyotes doing i think we saw like three separate coyotes doing their little jumping into the snow for the mice type deal so i mean for sure there were wildlife but we you know we were over on the geysers so we were at all the, the you know we went to old faithful um seeing all the different hot pots all that stuff in in that part there's not a whole lot of wildlife normally other than the buffalo was that uh, uh your family's first time in yellowstone um i want to say yes do they like it oh yeah they loved it oh, good. they loved good. it um my nieces loved it too so <laughs> you know it was it was a blast cool cool um going on to the next category of the wandering ways review we're going to talk about views what were the views like five being like just jaw-dropping views one being to like it's kind of the same the whole time uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a four. Four. Um, just because it's still up there. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I don't want to be that guy and be handing out fives all day. Um, but it um, it was beautiful, beautiful day. Um, it was sunny out, which I don't think you get a lot of sunny days in the park like that in the winter with snow where the roads are kind of clean um so that was awesome to experience um watching the animals you know because i think it, when it was sunny out there like yeah let's eat let's enjoy our day kind of thing let's let's make time with this heat you know because we're yeah. getting heat from the sun right now um so i think that was really cool you saw the the mountains with the snow in them just beautiful i mean yellowstone park is so beautiful anyway like it's really hard to not get that jaw dropping look yeah um but i didn't get to see the whole park either so i uh I, i'm not i'm not getting all the jaw dropping views i'm getting that same lamar valley one but to me the lamar 
is the best. So um, I, I like it. <laughs> I dig it. And Gardner and Jardine, you know, right up on the hill there. Always beautiful. <laughs> uh, next category, what's the accessibility like? We got great accessibility. That would be our five to, you know, you really got to be, got to have special equipment, got to be a healthy person type at one. I'm going to go middle ground three here um, for two reasons. Uh, the first being, it's the winter in Yellowstone. So if you're not getting your ass out of your car, yeah, it's accessible because really there's no roads open other than the main road. Um, you know, a lot of the buildings and stuff are closed. A lot of the ranger stations are closed and certain ones are open, but they are mostly for the most part closed. So you're not really getting out doing a lot, but we did see cross country skiers. Oh, we saw runners we saw uh snowshoers huh. up by kind of cook city closer to cook city up that valley there and um yeah they're enjoying the park having their having a good time and uh so if you're doing that you need to be able-bodied and you need to be able to do that i wouldn't go cross-country skiing for the first time where these people were cross-country skiing you are in grizzly country you are in um kind of a mountainy area where there a cliff could just pop out of nowhere yeah um so i say that uh kind of know what you're doing uh because these guys they look like experts they look like they knew what they were doing um you know start on a golf course near your house if you want to cross <laughs> ski or horseshoe for the first time um there probably are different tours in places that offer that kind of stuff i don't think cook city does i think that's more of a west yellowstone thing um, so the accessibility, that's why I give it a three. Cause I mean, if you're just sitting in your car, yeah. Totally fair. Um, totally fair. Yeah. Um, second to last category here. This is always a fun one to hear. What's the chance of seeing Bigfoot? What's our, our squatch chance? Um, you know, going back to our Bigfoot researcher, we interviewed, um, he gave us some information about Bigfoot's liking to look down upon you. Um, I think in the Lamar Valley, there is a potential, a potential for that where, where Sasquatches could observe humans um, up there. There's not a lot of humans up there. There's also bears and other creatures and bobcats and cougars and foxes and coyotes. Um, so there is a sustainable food source for him. There's water sources up there. Um, I'm going to give it a three because I have not personally seen any Bigfoot um, evidence as well as I have not heard any stories, but who's to say they're similar, like up there, the type of weather you get would be similar to like the Himalayas and like the Yeti. So that could be, um, so that's why I'm saying three po possible, but I see it. I dig it. You know, <laughs> I'm, uh, getting a lot more scientific with it. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, last category, you know, the big one. What was the overall takeaway, the overall trip? How would you rate this winter trip to Yellowstone? Oh, five out of five. I love Yellowstone. I will keep going back. This trip made me want to go back it made me want to buy a six thousand dollar camera lens so please listen to our episodes tell your friends tell your grandma tell your mom we want you to listen because we need this camera lens so we can deliver you the best goddamn wildlife photos from yellowstone park in the winter and i will make it happen so five out of five it was beautiful the experiences were beautiful and just hanging out with jared you know we were sitting there and we're like, we, it's a Saturday. We don't got nothing to do tomorrow. We'll just take our time. Let's actually sit here for 45 minutes and enjoy this box and not do anything. You know, we're not, there was no end goal. There was no destination. Mm -hmm. And to me, I think that was really fun. And uh, yeah, that was, that was our time. Nice. Yeah, no, I'm uh, jealous you got to go out, go out to Yellowstone in the winter. It was such a cool experience when I did it, so it's sweet to see you and see all the photos doing it. 